Hi. What I am about to delve in are complicated affairs having a lot of nuance and I am conscious of my gender. Still I am going to say what I think is right. Every time a scandal breaks out which involves statements or acts which are sexual and objectionable in nature, whether it be Donald Trump's grab him by the pussy statement or the Me Too movement or the boys locker room chats, one response is almost always seen. I want to address that. It's called not all men. The argument being not all men do it, which is stupid. The moment you say not all men do it, what are you really saying? Are you saying most men do do it? I hope not. God, I really hope not. That will be terrible. It's akin to saying, "Hey, this movie is awful," and getting a response, "Not all movies are awful." Dude, nobody said that. Why are you getting defensive? I simply am saying this movie is awful. Let's just talk about that. There are more than 3 billion men in this world. No qualitative blanket statement will possibly be fitting all of them. All you need is one guy and anything and everything can be said to be not all men. Which brings us to the question, what is the goal of the argument not all men? These are highly objectionable behaviors, criminal even. Do we now want to be appreciated for not being criminals? I don't understand. And this happens only in such cases. Tomorrow if a group of men are found to have murdered someone, we won't hear of not all men are murderers. Of course not. They aren't. Then why the need to clarify this here? If someone's highlighting something problematic about a group, they are highlighting something problematic about that group. Just because one happens to share one's gender with the group it is not an attack on one personally unless of course one is part of the said group in which case it is totally an attack and deservedly so the not all men argument also doesn't help anyone what does it really do someone's crying they are in pain and this person comes along saying hey there are other people not in pain they are also not inflicting any pain um what now When there is darkness your saying the sun will rise in the east tomorrow is ludicrous it does not alleviate the darkness it adds nothing of value if you can help help if you cannot maybe shut up men don't have to worry as much about what they are wearing what time it is whether they've had had too much to drink whether some part of their body is inadvertently showing thereby rising untoward emotions in some person unsolicited dick pics whether the person they just rejected will not come back to them with a vengeance general security and movement whether there are enough lights on the street or why their heels are so painful and the clothes so uncomfortable let's just not go there and maybe next time one is thinking about not all men shenanigans one also thinks about all the advantages one does have in being a man not all men have periods let's start from there